he finds his seriously damaged hand as he wakes up. In addition to his hand, he had injuries throughout his body. He observes his feet when he wakes up. He discovers a crocodile attacking his foot. His attention was diverted to the crocodile. Day uses his other foot to get away from the crocodile. The crocodile leaps off his foot and tries to catch up with him. Day hits with a bucket while keeping a safe distance from the crocodile. When the dog outside noticed the situation, it began to bark. Day is depicted in a deep pool as the camera zooms out. There were no stairs leading out of there. The image shifts to a scenario from six days past, in which the pool is full of water. Day was photographing in the water. A sofa is submerged in water. A marble was posing in the makeup of the Joker. Day's friend arrives with Day's dog during the session. They were having a good time here. In this scenario, Day is seen injecting insulin. Because he suffers from diabetes. His friend also shows up and begins to converse. The shoot was completed afterwards. They enjoy themselves while taking group photographs. One by one, they depart. Day arrived the next morning to close the pool. Nobody will stay here after him. Day's friend shows up to meet him and informs him that he would be taking a long break for a tour. He turns the pool's lever to drain the water as he walks away. He approaches Day while tying the dog to the grill. Day is asked to leave the pool by the child since the water level is falling. Because there are no steps, getting out of here will be tough. After giving it some thought, Day adds, please order a pizza before departing. Day's friend leaves after all of this. Day falls asleep in a pool floating by accident. After some while, Day awakens to the sound of his dog barking. He tries to exit the pool but notices that the water level is low. He attempts to get out of here. In this attempt, his nails are also broken. He calls for assistance since he believes he will not be able to escape. He is pictured in a deserted location as the camera zooms out. There was nothing, and no one could come to his aid. The phone of Day is seen charging beside the pool. When his phone rings, it rings on the edge of the pool, and before Day can get it, he hangs on the charging wire. Day leaps to remove it. However, the phone is lost in the sea. The phone stops working. He then puts his handkerchief down the drain to keep the water level from becoming too low. Day was doing this and couldn't see him since he was in the pool when the pizza delivery man arrived. The delivery lad looks around but doesn't see anyone. The youngster dials Day's friend's number, who has placed an order for pizza. While leaving pizza here, Day's friend urges him to leave. The delivery boy does the same, and Day has the impression that someone is there to assist him. Day rushes across to the other side of the pool. His belt, however, becomes trapped in the sewer, and the delivery boy departs. Day believes that someone will come to his aid. He falls asleep again without giving it any thought. After some time has passed, Day's friend Koi appears. She sees Day asleep in the pool and, oblivious to the water level, rushes to the platform to jump in. Day is awakened by the ruckus and forbids Koi from jumping. Meanwhile, Koi's foot slips and collides with the platform, causing her to tumble and pass out due to a head wound. The floater makes Koi lie down right away. With the help of the pool's rope, he attempts to stop her bleeding. The water level appeared to have dropped to an unsafe level overnight. As he touches Koi's head, Day examines his injuries and notices a blood clot on his hand. When Day sees all of this, he becomes concerned. Day's dog begins to bark at this point. Because a crocodile was approaching the pool from the main gate. Day observes the crocodile as well and tells his dog to be quiet. The crocodile's foot slips just before it consumes the dog. It also ends up in the pool. Day's situation has now gotten critical. His injured companion was on one side, and this empty, hazardous pool was on the other. Which they couldn't get out of. On the third, the crocodile arrived. The saddest part is that no one, even from afar, could come to their aid. They are without food and water. Day and his companion were still invisible to the crocodile. The night goes by. Until daybreak, the pool was deserted. Day's pal Koi was still woozy. 
The crocodile was asleep with its mouth open on the other side of the pool. Day comes across Koi, who is bleeding profusely. Day looks around, then notices the crocodile's face. Duct tape was found in its mouth. It was possible that the tape would be used during the shoot. Day makes an attempt to remove the tap from the crocodile's mouth. The crocodile awakens during this time. At day, it growls. Day hastily arrives at Koi and uses tape and rope to bandage him. Near Day and Koi, a pail of water is also seen. To drink, Day has filled it with pool water. Day discovers a vent after all of this. While going via this vent, Day makes plans to flee. Day opens the vent cover and inspects the Koi. When the crocodile moves into the tunnel before he returns, Day waits for it to return, and when it doesn't, Day moves inside the tunnel, placing his life in danger. As he approaches the exit, he discovers that it has been locked from the outside. During this time, the crocodile returns to the pool. When Koi is alone, the crocodile approaches her. The crocodile is thrown to the side as the sun rises. Koi eventually comes to her senses. After some time, Day notices his dog eating pizza. For Day, the dog throws pizza into the pool. For the first time in those three days, Koi and Day eat something. It was their fourth day in this pool the following morning. They don't even have access to drinking water. Because his energy level has depleted, Day becomes faint. He is dizzy the entire day. When Day wakes up in the middle of the night, he discovers Koi beside him. This crocodile, according to Koi, is a female. Today the crocodile has laid eggs. The rain begins to fall during this time. They have another opportunity to grab the water. The crocodile moves to attack him when Day was sleeping the next morning. It falls into the drain before the crocodile attacks him. Day also wakes up and seals the crocodile in the vent. Later, Day and Koi use grass and Day's glasses to put out the fire. They now eat crocodile eggs that have been boiled. At night, they move the sofa near the pool's edge. They attempt to leave from there. They couldn't get out of there, though. Day and Koi have admitted defeat. They don't know if they'll see the sun in the morning. The crocodile has returned. The crocodile goes closer to attack Day after seeing its eggs empty. Day goes inside the vent and takes cover on him before this happens. Day is a diabetic patient, as we saw at the beginning of the film. It was their fifth day in the water, and he needed insulin. The situation worsens during the day. During this time, Day detects an insulin injection outside the vent. He makes an attempt to move the injection closer to him. Unfortunately, the injection fails, and Day and Koi begin to cry as a result. Day discovers an insulin bag that he recognizes as his own. This was dumped into the drain by Day's friend. Day then injects insulin. They eventually spot a soaring parachute. Day returns to the pool, instructing the Koi to plug the drain. When he gets there, he realizes it's a kid's toy, not a parachute. Day was yelling for assistance. During this time, there was a tremendous storm, and a steel wire fell into the pool. Day felt relieved that the cable was supporting his weight. Day's hand is damaged even by the wire. He continues to climb, and the wire breaks just as he is about to reach the pool's end. The sun sets inside the pool once more. He passes out, and the movie returns to the beginning, with Day passing out and the crocodile eating his foot. Day manages to free himself from the crocodile. After all of this, the Day becomes exhausted. He settles in. Koi remained trapped inside the tunnel. It begins to rain late at night. Because the tunnel was blocked, water began to fill it. Day goes back into the tunnel after Koi rings a barrel to summon him. He decides to travel to the other side of the tunnel this time. This wasn't ideal for him because on the opposite side of the tunnel was another pool. It went far deeper than this. It was the seventh day in the pool for them. Finally, two people arrive, looking for their parachute toy near the pool. They enter the water through a ladder and deploy their parachute. They couldn't see the crocodile since it was hidden behind the sofa. From the other pool, Day hears their voice. He requests their assistance. They walked away until he returned to his previous pool. The ladder was there, which is incredible. 
it begins to rain once more. Day returns to the ladder, but is attacked by the crocodile. The tunnel where Koi was filled with water was on the other side. Day believes Koi has passed away there. The crocodile's life was coming to an end. In the meantime, Koi shows that she is still alive. Day finds hope when he sees Koi alive and confronts the crocodile. When he has the chance, he kills the crocodile with a large stick. Later, Day approaches the ladder. Because the barrel from which the ladder was attached moves before he clutches it, it travels away from him. It also takes the ladder. Day has lost hope because his last hope has been extinguished. During this time, Koi murmurs, and the dog is drawn to him. The dog is forbidden to jump on the day. However, the dog jumps, and it now hangs in the pool with its chain, where it dies. Day grows enraged as he realizes he must save Koi at whatever costs. With the help of the dead hanged dog, he pushes himself out of the water. At the very least, he exited the pool on the seventh day and proceeded to the tunnel where Koi had been. With the use of a pipe, he attempts to open the tunnel. He was going to tumble into the pool again because he felt unstable. Fortunately, he grabs the pool's edge and